Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. You might be wondering, what is the difference between the old Rhino Slider Evo system and the new Rhino Slider? It looks relatively same, but we actually designed it completely from the ground up. We've had about five years of experience with the Evo and we've listened to a lot of customer feedback and we've implemented some really important changes that will improve your workflow. So one of the biggest new changes is how you mount your slider to a tripod, which a lot of people shoot on tripods. So when we try to improve every part of a filmmaker's workflow. And what we did is that we added what some people in our Facebook group are calling a tripod. No, what do they say? They say a spinny mount thingy. We call it a tripod quick mount plate. And what it does is allows you to set your slider on top of a tripod. And instead of spinning your slider around, you spin this little knob and in seconds you're mounted instead of spinning it around three or four times, cross threading the threads on the tripod and the slider, just a pain in the butt, don't do it. Get the new system. So we already had one guy comment saying that just that one feature is gonna improve his workflow and make him use his slider more often, which is a huge win. Another change with the all new vinyl slider is its ability to go vertical and be able to do incline moves for time lapses and for jib-like shots. And on the old Evo slider, this metal square piece was set in place on the pulley with a set screw. Now, if you add all of the weight on a vertical slider shot on that, it's going to slip. And so we changed that fit from a set screw to a really, really strong press fit. So that's not going to slip on your vertical moves. If you have an older Evo slider, you can upgrade to the new end plate, go to our website, check it out, and you'll be able to use your old slider with the all new high torque motor and be able to go vertical. Let's look at the 42 inch slider for the third and final change. The third thing that we've changed on the Rhino slider is with the 42 inch option. And it's around how you mount this to tripods. The old version had a single center mount plate that you would just spin your entire slider on. And if you wanted to use two tripods, you would use the quarter 20 and the three eighths inch holes on the ends and use those as tripod mounts. Now that was a huge pain in the butt. If you've ever tried to mount a 42 inch slider to two tripods, it probably takes about five minutes. You have to level it, you have to make sure it's all stable on the ground. And so what we did is we added two more quick mount tripod plates to either side of the center plate. And this is the same concept as using one tripod, except with two, especially if you're using two of the same tripod. You set them to the same height, you pick up your slider, you set it down on top of it, spin the knobs, and you're set up and ready to go in seconds, not minutes. Now, the other benefit of these plates is that it increases the torsional rigidity of the system by 300%. Now, that may seem like an arbitrary number, but if you twist the slider side to side, it doesn't twist anymore. The old version, the carbon fiber rails used to twist a ton and you could really only use them for time-lapse and lightweight cameras. Now you can put a fully kitted out setup on this slider and it won't twist at all. And especially with the 42 inch pro version with the stainless steel rails, it can handle even more weight without twisting. So if you have any other questions about what the differences are or how they integrate into your workflow, check out our videos. Or if you want email support, at rhinocg.com.